Yo, 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 peace and love, Curry Game. Welcome to Night Day Talk Media. I mean, this is JR Curry. I'm back with another one. So, man, things is heating up in the comedy space, man. It seems like these comedies just, you know, these comedians, you know, been going back and forth ever since, you know, Club Shay Shay been booking these comedians to come up there and sit on that brown couch. So now the beef is heated up between Country Wayne, Godfrey, and uh, Faison Love. And of course, Faison Love and Country Wayne had an issue with each other. So they're still continuing to go back and forth with each other. So, you know, I'm going to bring these videos up or whatever. All right, I'm back, man. The link to the, the shop is in the description of this video. Make sure y'all head over there and support. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with this Country Wayne interview, a uh, clip from his interview on Club Shay Shay when Club Shay Shay asked him about Faison Love. What was the situation between him and Faison Love? So let me go ahead and get into this clip because um, we're going to go ahead and work our way up because we got Michael Blackson actually responding to Cat Williams on his IG Live earlier about he was asked what was the you know the beef between him and cat williams and where did it stem from so he got into that to that a little bit so right now we're gonna go ahead and get into this country wayne video uh let's go ahead and get it on club shay shay let's get it talking about my special trash he trying to get in the loop but he ain't got enough information he don't got his information right so he sounds stupid he ain't up man if i had his career i'd cry <laughs> coming in like a woman right it don't want you right if you've been doing that that long, bro, it don't like you, dog. If your biggest thing is an elf suit, <laughs> and you bragging about being and these people bragging about being and these people elf suit, big perm. If you a grown man and you still bragging uh, bragging about a big worm, big, you know what I mean, yeah. whatever. Bro, I've been in the game a few years. Yeah, I don't ran it up, and I got my audience. Right, and I'm good, and I feel bad for him. Come like, man, bro, you ain't got to do that. Cause I show you the game, Bye but you. I don't get mad because at the end of the day, when you up like this, and you get so much love, the hate got to come with it. You you looking you looking like a fool, yeah, because you don't got the inform you don't got no information, and now you sounding stupid, man. Like, bro, you just ain't you just ain't good, bro. You you ain't good, right? Try to get his name. All right, so that's Country Wayne, you know, um, responding to Phase On Love, basically saying Phase On Love don't know. Don't know how to, you know, uh, cope with this new way, this new way of comedians uh, using their social media to succeed with the comedy. So he's basically saying Phase On Love need to learn the new way of how they're doing it to get this money out here. Because, you know, Country Wayne be doing them sold out arenas and all that. So and, uh, you know, Netflix specials and all that. And Phase On Love, as you know, he never had a Netflix special. They not they not checking for him, you know what I'm saying. So we're gonna go ahead and get over, move over to uh to Godfrey real quick because he responded to um Country Wayne, basically saying Country when Country Wayne was on Club Shay Shay, he's he's mentioned something about comedians performing in small clubs is not the thing anymore. Um, so Godfrey responded to that on Club Shay Shay. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this real quick. That's on here mm -hmm. that I disagreed with. Okay. No, and this is no, I, you know, I, you know, I would love to start beef because I want this to go to 60 million. <laughs> I want to call somebody out. I just want to start some, sh but I won't do that. You know what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> um, but when Country Wayne was on here, yeah. I, first of all, I don't know Country Wayne at all, right. but I watched his video. I, I give him his credit for him making all that money. I was listening to him like, oh, well, how did you do this? Right. You know, I love his hustle. Smart dude. I mean, he making millions off of this. Shit. Right. I wish I, I could, but he said one statement that I disagreed with, Country. I disagreed with you. What was the statement? I, I think he said, and if I'm wrong, you correct me. Okay. Said something about, if anybody's in a comedy club still, that means you're not doing anything. Something like that. Okay. To that. I don't know if he was answering Faison. Right. I think it was him and Faison right. going at it. Because okay. Faison's my dude. Right. Faison. <laughs> Faison go, everybody be going to Faison. I love Faison goes to everybody else. He's, Faison's a funny son. But he's saying if you're still in the comedy clubs, right. you're not a real comedian. Right. I think he said that. Am okay. I wrong? Something to that effect. And I go, but I think he was talking about him. Okay, like, please. Because I was like, you are wrong right. about that. Right. I'm in the comedy clubs. DL's in the com comedy clubs are still being built. They're not fading away. Right. If you do theaters, that's like a blessing. Right. But theaters are multi-purpose rooms. Right. Comedy clubs usually are just for comedy. Co comedians of all statures. Right. Do comedy clubs. There's the rare moments you have this. You know, Chappelle still comes to comedy clubs and works on his. Right. Seinfeld, who's a billionaire, still comes to the comedy club. But I think what he was. What, what I, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah. I might be. I might be. No. I think what he was saying is that. That's his only choice is to do those. The people that you mentioned can do arenas. They can do theaters. Yeah. He's saying that he probably, the only thing he can do. Okay. Is, I'm like, I'm, so what does that make me? Because no, it's no, no, not no, easy. No, no. First of all, it's not easy to fill a comedy club. Mm -hmm. 
even if it's a 300 seater, 400 seater, it's not easy. Right. Like there's people who have been fortunate, especially with the algorithm, you get the algorithm, you got 8 million followers. Yeah. Just numerically, you're going to fill this up. Right. But are you going to put the work in? Are you going to have the performance that, that, that keeps up with it. to match it? Which comedy, I'm going to tell you this. And even Kat said it. You got to, you can't cheat comedy, man. I'm telling you. I, when I first got to New York, you know how many shows I was doing per week? 40 shows a week. 40? You heard what I said. So Country Wayne hopped on his IG earlier. It basically responded to Godfrey. So let's go ahead and get into that one real quick. So this is Country Wayne responding to Godfrey. All right. Hey, man. Hey, this is a message for, uh, shout out to Shannon Sharp for representing me on his uh, club, Shay Shay, when Godfrey tried to come and say whatever, whatever. With Godfrey and all the other comedians who've been hating on me a long time. Let me tell y'all something. Every comedian to me funny. Now, if you want some advice on probably why you never gained that audience, because, bro, you the audience you speaking to just ain't the proper audience. I don't know what you're talking to. I might not be funny to you, because I was, I was speaking to the streets of where I come from, all the hustlers. Not the jack boys, but the hustlers. And the bad, and, and to the bad ones. I always kept the bad women and the people who get that money, the people who work hard. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, hustling ain't just selling drugs and all that. I'm talking about people who work hard, take care of their family, black people, play spades. Um, uh, the white people who understand the culture, who've been around the culture, yo, what you talking about just ain't what people own. People still need twenty dollars, my boy. So you out there? I'm gonna give you some advice. You out there talking about them jokes about whatever you talking about, bro? If you been in this game that long, and that audience ain't came to you yet, switch it up. Mm. Switch it up, my boy. It's subject matter. And your subject just don't matter. So all these comedians out here that got country Wayne name in their mouth, bro, don't be mad because your girl, I mean your girl mouth, what you mad about, because all the aunties and all the, the, the black women, we love country Wayne and all the real ones, all the real dudes out there who really about their family, hey, country Wayne, my boy, you would never get them. Your haircut on that interview, if you seen it, <laughs> that's why they don't rock with you. That's why, ain't no, you, I'm riding through Chicago right now because I got a show at a theater. That I'm gonna make a hundred K plus in the real Chicago streets gonna be in there. Ain't nobody in Chicago got that haircut and talking like that and leaning like that when they talking. <laughs> so all the comedians who got my name in your mind, y'all was the lame dudes in high school who the girls ain't like. And this is why y'all can't get it. Cause you still mad about the girl who dealt with old boy. Man, keep my name out your mouth, my boy. Like for real. You up there talking about something. I said, if you're in the come to club. If you're in the comedy club, you ain't get you ain't no real comedian. I didn't say that. It was comedian coming out, coming for me, who and I said he can't, he he forced to go to a comedy club. I go to comedy club still. The comedy clubs is what we came from. One for the comedy clubs, I wanna be where I where I'm at. I still go there to work on material. I'm gonna continue to go back. The, the work, you know what I'm saying, to work on another special. But it's a message for Godfrey. And 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 shout out to um, shout out to Shannon Sharp for stopping that because he was trying to say something that I didn't say on there, bro. Listen here, man. Only thing I do a comment for advice, Wayne. How you doing? What you doing? I got the people, bro. The culture ain't a lot of the, a lot of that stuff. That's why when people be like, I love when people say they don't like my comedy because I know them the lanes. Get out of here. I'm in Chicago right now, and in the street they gonna be in there. Yo, man, keep my name out your mind, my boy. For real though, like I ain't, I ain't one of no comedians. Everybody who really know me now. This the real Wayne. This the Wayne Cole. Bump all that country Wayne stuff, man. I don't play like that. That's why you don't see me hanging with nobody and all that. Cause I was not, I was not no class clown. I ain't popping no pencils throwing across class, my boy. Yeah, yeah. So, man, congratulations to you. But if you want some advice, you got my number. Don't be going on there talking, man. Think gonna get so cloud off me because I'm gonna tell you what it really is. I'm gonna tell you why black people really rock with me because they see me. Everybody in this friend of black. Everybody in my production, they eating. All my baby mamas, my family, my grandma, everybody get a check every month. So what they see, you so worried about uh, comedy, the the world, the culture looking like, bro, we need to take care of each other. So Country Wayne is, is bro, this is legendary. Man, you, you ain't me and I and I ain't you. Keep my name out your mouth, my boy. For real. You know what I'm saying? Work harder. Let's get let's get a special out. You to my soul, Netflix, if, give you the money. But you don't know, I put up my own paper. You know what I'm saying? You begging for money. If your grandma be mad at you sitting on a lot, sitting on there begging for somebody to put some money behind you, it ain't good. You won't even put the money behind you. Because you spend, you spend too much time talking about somebody else who got it. Well, my boy, keep a name out your mind, man. All y'all, for real. Well, 
So he's basically saying, uh, Godfrey ain't relatable. This his material ain't relatable to the to the people that that country Wayne is relatable to. So yeah, you know I mean, he's saying he basically all these hate, uh comedians hating on him because he's doing it from an independent mindset. He he he's not sitting around waiting for a check. He's actually independent and going for it. You know what I mean, and we can understand that. That's our mindset. We ain't waiting for nobody to give us anything. We get straight to it. I ain't waiting for nothing. So, uh, so Faison, of course, Faison hopped on his IG and responded to Country Wayne because you know they've been going back and forth with each other. So let's go ahead and get into Faison's response. All right, make sure y'all smash that like button too, man. We keep bringing y'all this content, man. Do us some favors and hit that like button, please. Appreciate it. My guy Godfrey, listen, brother, I saw your interview. It was great. Love your energy. You've always been a good and funny nigga, smart and true to yourself. This country wing mother <laughs> this can hillbilly ain't never been outside his territory, wherever the f he from, the Appalachians or wherever the f some hills where they f their own families and shit. I don't know where the f he from. Damn. But if I see them on the stage, I'm snatching this off. That's on Emerald. I'm snatching this. I'm sick of the bullshit. All these goofy ass motherfuckers want to talk shit from a safe place, from Club Shay Shay, sucking corporation. I done said too much. This summer, I'm snatching this off stage. Godfrey. He don't know that you'll fold his against like a napkin and throw him in a goddamn hut, Hudson River. He don't know that. He think because you're smiling and you got the, the, the he don't know, Godfrey. He's goofy. He's a hillbilly. He just got electricity. Country wing mother, you inaccurate, dumb, stupid mother. See, he's on bitter and mad. He hating on Country Wayne because Country Wayne was able to maneuver and use the social media. To build up, build himself up to the point where they had to come to him. Build and they will come. Faison is sitting around waiting for somebody to, to call him. You see what I'm saying? He don't know how to maneuver and use his social media, you know, to get to it. And that's where he's mad at. Like he's mad. And like Country Wayne say, all y'all gotta do is holler at me and I'll show y'all how to do it. But Niggas rather hate. That's that's the, that's the shit we dealing with, bro. Like, when you doing your thing, pe people be ready to hate on you. Like, and they just mad because they can't get to it. So they be just mad at you because you're doing something that they can't do. That's how we be feeling when people be trying to come for us. Like, yo, you don't know how hard we work to, 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 to get where we at. We talking about years and years and years. 20 years of research. You know what I mean? Seven years of being in business, like, consistently, nonstop. You know what I mean? And we build, and we build our social media following up real fast. Godfrey responded on Michael Blackson's live stream, and this is where Michael Blackson actually was asked about the cat, his feud with Cat Williams, and he kind of went into it, too. So let's go ahead and get into this clip real quick. With Faith on Love. So, Faith on Love was dogging him, and then Country Wayne came on Club Shay Shay and said, you know, Faison, he was saying, you know, Faison don't know what he's talking about. Faison is just mad because he ain't doing theater. Then he said, anybody that's doing comedy clubs, right, is like, you know, not a real, and I'm like, and then when I got on there, I said, the only thing I disagree with Country Wayne is when he said, if you're doing comedy clubs, because we all do comedy that's clubs. Where you comedy, start from. That's what you start from. You can start and end. That's where, can, that's where the money is at. Yeah, you can right start now. But you can start and end a comedy club because it's called a comedy club. That's where you find comedians. That's right. It's not like it's a community college. Yeah. It's not hustling backwards. It's all about how much can you sell out comedy clubs. Because selling out comedy clubs ain't easy either. And a lot of these guys are selling out because of their, you know, their Instagrams and their social media. Back in the day, you didn't even, you didn't, you couldn't, you had to sell out by going to these clubs over or get a TV show or something. 
So now social media has made it easier for people to be seen. So I I said on Thursday, I said I disagree with I said I love his hustle. I love uh Country Wayne's hustle. I'm I'm glad for him, but I disagree on the part where he said uh yeah, um if you do in comedy clubs, you ain't I said no, nah, man. I said no. Nope. I disagree with him on that. And I said maybe he said it in response to Faison, probably. And that's all I said. So now I, Faison, I heard he made Faison ain't been coming up a lot, lady. But what you think about Cat Williams dragging him and everybody else? What do you well, think your about beef, your beef is old, right? <laughs> this is how you end up with a Michael Blackson who's a real African doing a fake African accent. Okay, mo don't. Uh this guy is mad at me. All I did was give him the best advice of his life. Remember, he was wearing dirty dashikis. Dashikis. And I told him he needed to dress to be in the position that he's trying to say that he's in. And if you're the African king of comedy, sir, there's actually comedians in Africa doing comedy. If you're going to say that, you got to go to Africa and get a school, dude. Everybody got you. You got to put in some work. And these guys, they take my advice. They change their whole persona. And... And then they hate me for it. Wait, what do you think about that? But you and Cat's beef are old, right, uh, Mike? Well, me, yeah, me and Cat beef go, go a little bit further, like a year and a half, two years. But y'all was, was on that toy show together, that movie, that did it start? Yeah, 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 a couple of movies together. So hold on. Yeah, uh, media control. But, but I didn't start any beef, though. Right. But that, that's how, this, I didn't even know I had beef with Cat. So... Me and Cat was like really cool. You know, we didn't know each other well, but we had a very great mutual respect for each other. We saw each other, we showed each other love, you know. Um, and I always respected and loved this guy. Yeah. Oh shit, fellas, I gotta go to work. Okay. All right, well, I will continue this after night. Tomorrow I'll be afternoon or something? That's fine, we'll do tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow Unless, right, if you want to come later, let me know. Text me if you're going to do it. I'll text you. I might come back on after the first. Uh, I think her name is Geisha305. She's a uh, she's a big roast on Instagram. I think she's from uh, Florida, too. And she be she used to go back and forth with Kaya all the time. You know, uh, so, yeah, she's a roaster. So, yeah, man. I, I feel like these dudes just got to know, know how to get with the new way of hustling, man, and using their social media. Um. I respect Country Wayne's grind and how he used to, how he put the skits out. You know what I'm saying? And then everyone that that was in the skits with him, you know, they was able to build themselves up off of that. And he was paying them well. He was paying everyone. Everyone in his team was getting paid well. You know what I'm saying? Because he was putting up the numbers on social media. He I, I, I he was like the uh, Country Wayne considered like the the, the Tyler Perry of, of social media. Like how Tyler Perry was using the plays, you know what I mean? And he was bringing, putting up numbers with the plays and all that. And then Hollywood kind of had came to him. Country Wayne, the same thing with social media, putting those skits out, build it, build his uh fan base up to the point where they had Netflix had to come to him. And like he said, he put his own money up because he was he was you know he was driving up them numbers on, and I know his monetization probably looked it crazy. Him being monetized on all platforms, I know. I know his his looks crazy right now. You know what I mean? So on that note, man, we appreciate. I appreciate y'all for stopping through, man. Please make sure you head over to nightanddaynetmarket.com and please support the shops, man. We got the Zealite on here. If you're looking for a great detox, definitely make sure you get that. Come over to the Night and Day CBD Hub. We got 25% off on all CBD, all different cigarette flavors. Pre rolls, cigars. We got the pain balm cream. That's two twenty four um, hundred milligrams. We got the lotion and the soap combination set. You can either buy either uh either individually or you could buy it as a set. Yep. So make sure y'all come over here and hit up the shop. We got a lot more stuff on here. Check out our Amazon store. Check out our apparel. Make sure you check you know what I mean. So on that note, this your boy Jr. Curry, man. Night and day talk media, and I'm up out of here. Peace. Hey, zeolite is one of the most amazing minerals of our age. 
Millions of people have been using detoxification supplements to remove harmful toxins, pollutants, heavy toxic metals, as well as to balance pH levels, lower the risk of viruses like cold and flu, support the immune system, and improve nutrient absorption. What is zeolite? Zeolite is a volcanic ash that forms over time when ash and lava react with alkalized water, resulting in a compound with a very strong cage-like structure and a negative charge. Zeolite is one of the most fascinating and powerful nature remedies available. Great to detox and balance your body. Health benefits of detoxing. The removal of excess heavy metals can improve overall health. Detoxification helps balance a body's pH levels. This product provides 30 capsules, one month supply, ships within three days. Purchase now at night and daynetmarket.com.